In this video, we'll troubleshoot some reasons for not being able to bring up a character sheet and learn how to connect token artwork to a character sheet. To bring up a character sheet from a token in game, hold down the shift button and double click your token. The bio and info page will pop up. Now, if you hold down shift and double click a token and the token settings page shows up, then it's not connected to a character sheet. A good way of double checking is to check if none generic token appears in the represents character dropdown. Here's where you connect your character sheet to your token. Click the dropdown and browse from the list of character sheets you have in game. Great, I'm gonna pick the wizard character sheet. Now when we hold down shift and double click our token, it brings up the character sheet. But here's the thing to remember, even though your token is connected to a character sheet, it doesn't necessarily mean a character sheet is connected to a token. You can have a bunch of tokens on the tabletop, all connected to the same character sheet. Maybe you're the type of GM that likes to have different artwork for the same type of creature. So even though these goblins look different, their stats are the same. We're gonna go see what our wizard's character sheet looks like. Go to the menu in the top right hand corner of the screen and click the journal icon. The icon that looks like a newspaper. Here in the journal section, we'll see a bunch of our characters and handouts. Now I can see my wizard character sheet has a default avatar icon. This means an avatar hasn't been uploaded to the sheet. If we drag it to the tabletop and it has the same default avatar, that means a token hasn't been uploaded to this sheet. Remember, tokens and character sheets are a two-way street. Tokens have to be connected to character sheets and character sheets have to be connected to tokens. Let me explain a little more. Click edit in the top right-hand corner of your character sheet. You'll notice on the left-hand side, a place for an avatar and a place for a token. The avatar is the image that's going to show up in your journal. If you don't upload anything here, the default icon will show up. The same thing goes for the token. If you don't put in a token, it'll put in the avatar. And if you don't put in the avatar, it'll put in the default profile pic. So you might be asking yourself, what if I put in a token? Will it override the avatar? No, it won't. Tokens are used on the game board, avatars are used in the journal and character sheet. Think about it like this. If you were playing with a physical token and a physical character sheet, one wouldn't update when you changed another. They both serve different purposes. One looks better on a page, one looks better on the board. Okay, let's update this character sheet. You can drag art directly into these sections or choose from your art library. If the token you wanna to use is already on the game board, click it and then click use selected token. Great. Before we hit save, double check the in player's journals and the can be edited and controlled by. This is where you put the names of the players that need access to these character sheets and need to have permission to edit these character sheets. So if I click in player's journals and select all players, all players will be able to bring up this character, but they won't be able to control it or edit it. To do that, I'll have to go to the second text box and select either all players or the name of individual players. Click save changes. Great. Now the best way to do all this artwork and connecting it to character sheet business is to do it during character creation. So when you're ready to click the add button and create a character, make sure you're ready with your artwork. This will save you time from having to go back and add your avatar and your token. If you're interested in the character creation process, check the link in the description for a walkthrough. Okay, there's a few more things you can do with your token. Double click your token. On the right side of the token setting screen are token bars. These are the red, green, and blue circles that show up when you click on a token. Depending on what game you're playing, you can set these to whatever you would like by clicking the dropdown under attribute and selecting what you want to show up. Because we connected this token after the character sheet was connected, these bars won't fill in automatically. But once we select what attribute we want, like AC for armor class or HP for hit points, it will fill in our token bars. Great. Click save settings. Now here's one big tip I wanna give you. Let's say you have this token all connected and it represents a goblin and you wanna have multiples of them on the same battlefield. It's important that after you choose what goes into the token bars, you unlink them. This will ensure that when you change the number in that field, like if they get hurt and they lose hit points, it won't change for each and every goblin on the field. To do this, simply go to the attribute, click the dropdown and select none. 
The numbers in the bar will stay the same, but it's now unlinked. And now that I have just one goblin set up, I can copy and paste this token anywhere on the board. And if one of them takes damage, it doesn't update the rest of them. And there you have it. Your character sheet or monster stat block is attached to the perfect token for them. If you ever want to change a token, follow the same steps.